Мої вітання всім привіт з Чикаго. Hello from Chicago. Today we will create a connection to our database using code first approach. Open our application and uh, in Solution Explorer in uh, folder models we already have one model for our advertisement listings with properties ID, title and body. It will be uh, columns of our future table in our database. It is called first code approach because initially we don't have any database in Microsoft SQL Server. When we open a uh, folder databases, we don't have our database yet. Uh, first, we will run code in our project and when application runs first time, our database with table uh, for listings will be created automatically and we will call it Craigslist. Uh, for this, we need to add additional class to our models. We will name it Craigslist Context. And this model class will extend DB context. Okay, and before adding a constructor to this class, I will find the web config file in the root of our application because we have uh, not only one uh, web config class, we have additional web config, for example, in the folder shared. But we need uh, that uh, class uh, that is in our root. And uh, find connection string. It's connection, default connection to database. And we will change it. Okay, I need to find it in my gists. Connection string. I copy it. Yes, stop debugging. And now we have name of our connection string, Craigslist, Craigslist entities, and the uh, name of our future database, Craigslist, catalog Craigslist. And in Craigslist context, we will create a constructor Craigslist context that extends uh, base class of our DB context and give a parameter name Craigslist entities from our web config URL. Okay, saving it. And after creating a constructor, 
uh, we need to create PSL property DB set. Since it's collection, it has plural name add. It's it will be collection uh, for our future listing advertisement uh, for Craigslist for, for Craigslist database. Okay, everything done in Craigslist context. So I will hide it. Now we will find our add controller in controllers folder and change it significantly. First of all, we just need to declare our property. So we delete it. And we delete our data. Since we don't need it anymore. And using DB context, in our case it's Craigslist context. Craigslist context. And here we type our list property adds is equal to db adds dot to list. using block gives us possibility to close uh, to close connection to our database after it finished its task after our uh, application finished its task it's for saving um, memory capacity okay we'll leave our time everything is ready and uh, when our controller when action Craigslist add runs first time it creates a table adds in our database let's try I click F5 my listings ah, and <laughs> we succeeded our table looks differently it doesn't have any information yet and we will check our database we don't have it yet but we need to reload refresh and after refreshing we have Craigslist database with tables and our ads table with ID, title and body and now we uh, can edit it, add some text example my We can add some lorem ipsum text. I will create it in my view file. It will 
works. Maybe that's enough. You can see our table with uh, all information that we added. Everything works perfect. And uh, uh, tomorrow we will work with our register and login pages. Shiro Happy programming. Goodbye.